This is uncertain science, but I'm certain that we will throw everything we've got at developing a vaccine. The UK is at the forefront of the global effort. We've put more money than any other country into the global search for a vaccine. And for all the efforts around the world, two of the leading vaccine developments are taking place here at home at Oxford and Imperial. Both of these promising projects are making rapid progress. And I've told the scientists leading them that we'll do everything in our power to support. First, I'm today making £22.5 million available to the Imperial project to support their phase two clinical trials, which are going to assess a sample of several thousand and for them to begin the work on subsequently a very large phase three trial. Second, I'm today making available £20 million to the Oxford team to fund their clinical trials. The team have accelerated that trials pro process, working with the regulator, the MHRA, who have been absolutely brilliant. And as a result, I can announce that the, the vaccine from the Oxford project will be trialled in people from this Thursday. In normal times, reaching this stage would take years, and I'm very proud of the work taken so far. At the same time, we'll invest in manufacturing capability so that if either of these vaccines safely works, then we can make it available for the British people as soon as humanly possible. Nothing about this process is certain. Vaccine development is a process of trial and error and trial again. That's the nature of how vaccines are developed. But I've told Sarah Gilbert and Robin Shattuck, two of our most inspiring scientists, that we are going to back them to the hilt and give them every resource that they need to get the best possible chance of success as soon as possible. After all, the upside of being the first country in the world to develop a successful vaccine is so huge that I am throwing everything at it. Coronavirus is a powerful enemy, but I believe that the power of human ingenuity is stronger. Every day the science gets better, and we gather more information, and we understand more about how to defeat the virus. But in the meantime, there's one thing that you can do, and that is to stay at home to protect the NHS. <laughs>